Hey everybody, Jason Burmis here for WeAreChange.org and we've got plenty of news to go over, especially concerning technology. Now, it's nothing new that Elon Musk has really been a voice of reason when it comes to artificial intelligence, warning people that it's very dangerous and we don't know the implications as of yet. We have no idea, but robotics themselves are in many ways so far past what humans are capable of that he realizes this is something we have to pay attention to now and that's why we're covering this quote over here full story over at the Facebook page we are change we will all be forced to serve under an immortal robot dictator I'm sorry, an immortal, <laughs> immortal, in other words, a robot dictator that's never going away, whose power we can never escape, warns billionaire Elon Musk. Now, this doesn't mean this is happening in 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, maybe even 50 years, who knows, but he sees where artificial intelligence is going, and I know that people relate to Hollywood and productions and things of that nature to kind of get a sense or an idea of where artificial intelligence or robotics may be going. But the truth of that is that you look at a show like Westworld and, you know, there's that Altered Carbon show which really toes the line whether our consciousness is real or not. And a lot of that's out there. You know, what is consciousness? Are we going to be able to make conscious robots is that what artificial intelligence will be and then will they surpass and enslave us or even be nice enough to enslave us i mean will they take us out it's a question none of us really know the answer to but you know aside from musk there are now people out there at google thank the lord that are questioning this as well okay now this is a mainstream article out of the new york times the business of war Google employees protest work for the Pentagon. And may I say this? Thank you. Thank you for stepping it up. I mean, you are obviously intelligent folks. You've made your way into this corporate Goliath in a business, you know, that's model used to say, don't be evil. And now, they have Pentagon contracts. And what contracts are they talking about? Well, they don't want to design artificial intelligence for the military anymore. They think it's dangerous. And they're right. Now, a lot of people are, you know, commenting on this story saying, well, it doesn't really matter. They'll just replace these people. But why would the private sector openly march into their own enslavement? And, you know, they don't trust the government, these people making somewhere between, you know, 80000 and even a quarter million dollars a year. Living in Silicon Valley, that's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. It's almost poverty level, depending on where you're living. Um, it, that's the reality of living out there. So, you know, a lot of these people went in there idealistically, wanting to change the world for the better, and now they realize that they are doing the Pentagon's bidding, and they want out. And they want out big time. So, we'll see where this goes. I am encouraged by this, and I really do hope that, uh, again, people step up to the plate and speak out more. You know, not only against Google, but against Facebook and against Twitter and all of these leviathans, because we're going to get into a story uh, on Facebook right now. You guys were all very naive to try and believe that somehow the Zuckerberg was sincere or that Cambridge Analytica was the exception to the rule or that all these other large-scale uh, digital companies, whether they be social media or not, are, are selling your information. Of course they are. And this one shows how far they were going to go at Facebook. Not getting the media attention it deserves, but it's something we're going to be talking about here. Yeah, that's right, folks. Facebook had a program where they were going to take all that big data they had on you, and they had plenty of big data on you, I promise. You're going to take all that? And then they're going to match it up. And they're going to match it up with your medical data. Yeah, that's right. They're sending private physicians around to medical facilities to try to garner 
people's medical information, the data they had on their patients, illnesses, prescriptions, and more. Of course, your DNA, your genetics, what you're more likely to buy. Because again, this is all about marketing. This is all about money. This is all about control. And he can apologize up and down. Again, I, I feel like he's being set up as the fall guy because all these other companies are doing this as well. It's not, it's not new. It's not something that's a practice that isn't taking place everywhere. It is. It is. And it goes beyond that. You know, again, your phone is constantly tracking, tracing, and databasing your every movement. That is a reality. It's a reality we're living in today. And they want more information to interface that with. And that's why, you know, we're covering this Facebook program. This is a program people need to be aware of and spread this out. We've got the article over at the Facebook page, the wearechange.org Facebook page. Go check it out. And finally, folks, we're going to get to the last story of the day, something we have to cover here. It's off of Zero Hedge. I just discovered I owe the IRS $50,000 I don't have because I traded in cryptos. Now, I'm not doing this story to try to get you to stay away from investing in cryptocurrencies. I think that cryptocurrencies are a great thing in many respects, and they've they've really become almost uh, mainstream at this point. Obviously, there's a new one happening every day. We are change.org. We have some very exciting news about a certain cryptocurrency we're going to be going over. And uh, there's a video over at the main page that Luke just did yesterday concerning cryptocurrencies and how they are helping people via Dash. I hope you go over to the main page. That is youtube.com slash wearechange. And check that out. Share it with people. But be aware of what crypto means. You know, this guy really didn't make uh, $120,000 on a trade. He bought a bunch of Bitcoins at about uh, a little more than $8,000 a piece, cashed out of the peak when they were almost at 20, I believe, made, you know, I I don't even think it was that much of a profit. I guess he got them, all right, $7,200 and uh, got them at the uh, height and I got he got eight of those. That's how the story went. Um, and he cashed them out for about 120 grand. He had to invest quite a bit to get there. And he didn't double his profit because now the IRS wants to put him on a payment program where he's essentially going to have to live paycheck to paycheck for the next 10 years plus on his $47,000 a year salary. So a word to the wise, know what you're getting into when you are cashing out on these cryptocurrencies because the banks don't like them, the government doesn't like them, and the IRS is going to make sure that they have your ass when you try to make money on them. Folks, I thank you for joining me here at the Backup Pulse channel. Remember, without you guys, this organization isn't possible. Go to wearechange.org. If you can make that donation, that's great. If you can't, share these videos, hit like, hit subscribe, and be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you so much for joining me.